In this problem, let's find the volume of the solid by rotating about x equals negative 1. So x equals to 0 is this is the vertical line here. So that's x equals 0. And then when x is equal to 9 minus y squared, it's written this way. We know it's going to be opening to the left parabola because y is being squared, and then it's negative there. So x, y, is, it's going to go all the way up to 9, and it's going to have a parabola that's going to be going to the left, like that. And those intersections are y-intercept, which means x should equal to 0. So let's find where they intersect. So when x equal to 0, it's going to be 9 minus y squared. Bring it over. y squared is equal to 9. y is going to be plus or minus 3. So this bottom one is negative 3. Top one, is just, it's just going to be 3 here. So the area enclosed by this is this one right here. But we're going to rotate it about x equals negative 1. Let me erase this a little bit. So x equals negative 1 is going to be this line right there. Okay, let's imagine this is x equals negative 1. So we're going to rotate this portion right there, on, which is in the uh, first and the fourth quadrant, about x equals negative 1 here. So let's figure out what the big radius and small radius, radius are. So biggest radius will be this guy, correct? That's going to be whatever this distance, 1, which is 1, plus this x for the second equation here. Okay, so that's big R. I'm going to write it as big R. Big radius will be 1 plus that much distance, which is x. Well, x is 9 minus y squared. So that's my big radius. If I, if I rotate it, I'm going to get a big circle like that. So that little r is going to be what? That, which is 1. So that little radius is just going to be 1. Okay, so we got two radii here. Okay, so let's set up the integral now. So we're going to integrate it. We're going to take pi out. Big r squared minus little r squared everything dy. And then we're going to set our lower limit as negative 3, upper limit to be positive 3. Okay, let's plug things in now. So it's pi outside, negative 3, 3, big radius, which is going to be 10 minus y squared. We're going to square that. Make sure you square it. Minus little r is 1, the whole thing square everything times dy because we're going from negative 3 all the way up to positive 3 okay okay let me move it up a little bit here so it's going to be pi times negative 3 to 3 let's foil it inside so it's 100 minus 20y squared plus y to the fourth minus 1 everything times dy okay so let's simplify. Pi times negative 3 to 3. I'm going to put y to the fourth first and then minus 20y squared. And that's going to be plus 99. Everything times dy. Okay, let's solve it on the right side here now. So pi times, now when you integrate it, it's y to the fifth power over 5 minus 20 y cubed over 3 plus 99y, everything from negative 3 to 3. Okay. So now ready to plug it in. So it's y, so it's pi times 3 to the fifth power over 5 minus 20 times 3 cubed over 3 plus 99 times 3 all that minus now you plug in negative 3 so negative 3 everything to the fifth power over 5 minus 20 times negative 3 cube over 3 you really have to be careful here okay plus 99 there are a lot of numbers here 99 times uh, what is it negative 3 everything multiplied by pi oh that's a lot of numbers let's uh, try not to make mistake here 243 over 5 
Remember, we got pi outside minus well, 3 and 1 of the 3 cancels, so it's 3 cubed. That's 9. 9 times 20, 180 plus. That's just going to be 297 minus this whole thing minus. Ooh, be careful. Minus, that's going to be 3 to the 5th was 2. Remember, this is negative 243 now. 5 minus it's going to be plus because 3 negative 3 cube will be negative and minus becomes plus that's going to be 3 times 9 because 3 cancels with 1 of the negative 3 there and then minus 297 okay let's see if we can do this now so pi here multiply by 5 on the bottom, 243, what is that? That's going to be plus 117 minus, let's distribute minus here. It's going to be plus 243 over 5 minus 20 times 9 will be 180. And then it's going to get plus 297. More numbers. Okay, we're almost there pi times, that's going to be, I'm going to add these two up, so denominator 5, it's going to be, what is it, uh, 4, 8, 6, and then if you add that, minus that, add that, it's going to be plus 234, and that's going to equal to pi times, now we're almost done, 486, Plus, let's combine it. 234 is 1170 over 5. And then, oh, last step. Almost there. So denominator 5. And then when you add them up together, you're going to get 1, 6, let me see, 5, 6. Okay. Well, let's put pi. 1, 6, 5, 6 pi on numerator like that over 5. Okay. That should be the answer.